So, good morning, late morning. My latest video, I'm going to Twickenham for, I'm going to stay in Twickenham three nights. And uh, the plan is to look around Kew and go back to Twickenham undoubtedly. Um, so, the first thing, it's not so easy to get to Twickenham, it doesn't seem from London Paddington, because what I've got to do is uh, go all the way into Waterloo on the circle or district line, and then kind of go back out towards Twickenham, which seems the wrong way. But it's an overground train, Twickenham, so I'm going to time it. It's, uh, where was that clock I saw? It's a clock here somewhere, isn't there? Digital clocks. Where's the old clock gone? Oh, I lost it. I'll clip that. Yeah, so I'm going down the Bakerloo line, get the Circle of District to Waterloo. Change. We're going to time it. It's uh, eight minutes past two. Let's see how long it takes. Woo! Yeah. Totally off putting already because it's not an easy route to get to the right tube line. So it's already 20 past, and I definitely went wrong. I walked Paddington, I walked to the wrong direction underground, and then I've kind of gone the right way, but I haven't gone all the way to Waterloo. I think you have to get up. You have to get a little ferry bus thing or over the river or something. Anyway, I've ended up at Old Court and I can get the underground to Richmond or Kew. What I might do is get off a of Kew. Well, no, Richmond's closer to Twickenham Overground Station. So yeah, go to Richmond, walk to Twickenham Overground, which would be interesting to see how far that is anyway, and put my bags in where I'm staying in Twickenham and then get out exploring basically. So this is always cool. So there we are, following my nose again. Ended up at Richmond. I thought, well, I'll walk from Richmond to uh, where I'm staying in Twickenham. And uh, I can't do that because it's 50 minutes walk. But this is the other really interesting thing. One of the reasons I like Richmond not just because it sounds nice and it is beautiful. From Richmond Station, where I am, I can get a train to Reading, which is very close to where my daughter lives. And if I lived in this area, I'd be able to get free travel all the way to Reading, which would mean a cost of about five pound to get to Didcot. Reading with the um, Freedom Pass. So, that's good. Now I'm going to get the overground train from Richmond to Twickenham, I think. <laughs> and obviously, I can also get a train into Waterloo from here, because it's the overground train. So you get to Central London back 30 minutes, I believe. 30, 35 minutes. And then this is the one that's going to Reading. First stop, Twickenham. Goes all round Bracknell, Wokenham, Winnish, and then ends up in Reading. Early, that's quite close. Look, Reading, there we are. South Western Railway. Now that's come from Waterloo. So I could, once I get it worked out, I would be able to do Twickenham, Waterloo, Waterloo, Twickenham, which is kind of central London. Twickenham station. And the time now is uh, ten past, what is it? Ten past three. That's, well, it's took nearly an hour, isn't it? I was to choose around here to be living I would want to be very very close I guess to the station which I guess would be close to the town centre and then we've got that dilemma I don't know if Rochelle's shouting at me or not whether to go left or to go right because there are shops down there on the 
left, nice little pub, and there are shops down there on the right. The only other consideration right now, it's quite a nice flat there, look right on the station, they'd suit me. Um, would they suit me? Hmm, not so sure. Uh, so the dilemma is, it's still about 15 minute walk to where I'm staying, and they did say there's a bus that drops you almost right outside, so uh, I'm going to have a look at the bus, see which way to go on the bus, and maybe get the bus just because I can put my bag down. But yes, I'm travelling light this time, very light. So yeah, dump my bag, do a bit of planning and then go walking. So I was definitely turning right as far as which way the bus would go to take me to where uh, uh, the house. I'm staying in a house, like a, a room in a shared house. I think there are four bedrooms. Station. I think this house is going to be lovely because there are four stations, uh, four stations, four bedrooms in the house. But when I booked it, they told me there's only one other person staying there this weekend. So that's good. It does have a shared bathroom, which isn't ideal. But turn left onto the work. path, then in 20 it's yards, turn right on London Road. Okay, turn right. Uh, the cost was just £58 a night. Um, and for those people who have listened to quite a few of my Proceed videos, to the route. The only problem with the Airbnb on shore, right? Walk over the bridge, okay, then in 60 yards, oh, walk over boys. the bridge. <laughs> the only problem with those things, they charge you £50 for the cleaning in and out. That's a way to get home from school, isn't it? Very good. No, there we are, I'm going back to where I came. <laughs> I could say I got distracted by those kids getting a lift over. In 50 yards, thing, walk over the bridge. I didn't, I just started walking the wrong way, didn't double check even though it was telling me. And when I realised it was a minute further than where I started off. Walk over the bridge, then in a quarter mile, turn right on Holly Road. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was. Should have turned left, not right, basically. Nothing new about that, is there? It's all good fun. Arts, science, culture, enterprise, cafe. Welcome to Twickenham, St Mary's University. In a quarter mile, turn right on Holly Road. Okay. <laughs> So I jumped on the bus, bus, apparently this bus goes down Heath Road, which is where I'm Turn going. right on Holly Road, then continue straight on. There you are, look, it's still following me around. KFC. Heath Road, Heath Road Twickenham. Next stop, I reckon. So, might have jumped off the bus maybe one stop too early. Not sure really. It says six minutes walk, so quite happy with that. You can hear the planes coming in? Of course you can. Double deli. Looks very nice. No seats inside mine. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm going to have to work out which part is the centre part of Twickenham or really, actually to me, it doesn't really matter which part's the centre, it's more about which part is close to the train station or tube station. In Twickenham it's got to be train station for getting back in to central London and also the ease of getting back to Big cop for family. Yeah, six minutes. I should have done one more stop, really. That's all right. I don't mind doing another 
sort of five minute walk. We're walking forever this weekend. So this will give us a little insight. It's very unfair because where I got off at Richmond, right in the town, right by the river, bingo. They got an ivy there, they got nice restaurants, they got theatre, they got cinema. And I'm sure they got all this here, but I think it might be more spread out. Big builders merchants here. I saw that on one of the videos I was watching about Twickenham. Being a tenant, not a landlord, I won't have many uses for that. Chase Buck and these agents are the ones who had that one little one bedroom place. It was 1350 that really, really sparked my attention on Richmond. So how come a little one bed with own little front door was really so cheap in what is a posh area, would be thought of as a posh area. And, you know, compared to lots of other areas, outside London and wherever, not up north, but, you know, it's still fairly expensive, but it's um, not as expensive as going into more central, into London, into areas which aren't, aren't as nice. But this, this, this is not ticking any boxes for me right yet. But I'll... Uh, I'll wait to pass my judgment over the weekend because I'm going to go to Q as well. Q's on the underground. Twickenham's on the train overground. And Richmond's on the underground. But it's all about how my ease of getting both to Big Cop Parkway and Central London. So home. So I found the place. Trace Buck and that's the main agency in Richmond that had that lovely little flat. That's the main road there that the bus came up. And I'm hoping the flat did look nicer inside the home. It's nicer than the front door. This is the front door to it. And it's a key code thing. As are all Airbnbs. So let's go in and explore and I'll show it you as we go in. It's on Airbnb. So in the description I'll put a link to it. Whatever it's like. So we're going up the stairs to a grade or where there's another lock code. But this isn't great. Matt said that's what happens with old buildings. I like the old buildings. If you like the old buildings, you've got to be prepared to put up with a lot of this. Let's see, that's the lock code. So yeah, here we are. I just realised that I've never done a shared accommodation before because I've got one bedroom and shared house so this is the kitchen area the other person I can hear them on the phone or something in their room and they've got a do not disturb sign up so that's all right uh television it's all nice I love the fireplace you need to get somewhere with an old fireplace like that there's the estate agents outside Looks like it's a girl that's staying. Uh, it's a problem with shared accommodation, isn't it? But it's got a nice little breakfast bar. And it's okay as a little flat, actually. Be okay for me. Full time. Then you go into the room, and the room is actually really, really bright. Big and bright. Look at that. You happy with that? And that's really what I saw, obviously, when I booked it, the room. So a big wardrobe, old fireplace, just brick, but work desk. And another either seating area, sofa bed, telly, uh, me, cars. Really nice bus stop right there. So really, that's ideal. Now I've found where I am. It's ideal, this bedroom is huge. The old Joe Crow just landed up there, he's gonna go, is he? Is it Crow or Jackal? It's a bit small for a crow. There he goes. 
So that's it, I'm in. Gonna sort out what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go, and uh, have a little rest. Time now is 20 to four. So what's that, a good hour and a half, isn't it, from Paddington? And it's only 50 minutes from Paddington to Didcot, and then 10 minutes really on the new Elizabeth line to Soho. This was an hour and a half compared to 10 or 15 minutes. Perhaps that's why the rents again are higher in the um, central London, of course. But you won't get a room. The only time you get a room like this is if it's a complete studio. And the Soho area now, a studio as big as this with a little kitchen in it, would definitely be two grand a month. Next to the kitchen and the main front door was the bathroom, which all looks okay. It's kind of, certainly for living full time, it's a big no-no to have shared accommodation. That is not gonna happen for me. Just plonk myself down on the bed. And uh, I can tell you the sofa, the bed is um, nice and comfy, proper. King size bed, nice and comfy mattress. So nice soft pillow. So that's a good thing. Three good nights sleep. So this is one of the good things about being in the suburbs anywhere of London. That bus there looks going to Hammersmith. Terrible video work, isn't it? 267 to Hammersmith and Hounslow bus behind it. They come probably about every eight to 10 minutes to be fair out here to Hammersmith. That's the bus I get on to get somewhere close into London and then get the underground from Hammersmith into, so there's the Hounslow bus off. So that's it for a wrap. It's a wrap as they say. <laughs>